These are the main ingredients of my hydration mix most times. Cucumbers, fennel and celery, I think um, in this ratio exactly for me. So a whole bunch of celery, a couple of cucumbers, one whole fennel and a bit of parsley thrown in. Makes a very thirst quenching drink that I sip on for the rest of the day. I throw all of these in into the slow masticating juicer that I got off Amazon. Uh, it cold presses the juices, so keeping oxidization and heat to a minimum while extracting as much juice from the pulp as possible. I still, I do use a strainer over here to keep the f whatever fiber might seep in away from me because fiber is the work of the devil. And that is my green juice for the day and it's quite a mess also but before i clean it all up what i'm going to do is top it up with some raw unheated honey in here and the key word here being unheated honey now arjunus van der planets in his book mentioned that uh, unheated honey apparently contains a substance that converts most of the sugar in honey into an enzyme that actually helps you digest protein helps you digest meat and i found this to be true in my experiments because Unheated honey particularly doesn't uh, seem to cause any glycemic reaction in my body that you would typically get from eating sugar or just ordinary honey. So you can enjoy the sweetness without really feeling any sort of sugar rush or rise. But the reason I added to the juice is not for the sweetness, it is to act as a preservative. So again, unheated honey with all its enzymes intact straight from the beehive that again I got from this place called Imka pure the the unheated honey acts as a preservative for the juices helping it last without it uh, without causing it to ferment for the next 24 hours or even more in fact two to three days but i this should last me just the day so typically what i do after making the vegetable juices is exercise for an hour and a half um, I shower head out the door and go about my day but today being a sunday it's my rest day and i don't do much physical exercise besides just walking but either way whether i'm exercising or not exercising uh, before the f between the first meal and the second meal i'm always alternating between vegetable juices and uh, raw eggs so raw eggs are a great snack to take with you when on the go which is what i do so when i'm outside can't really get to my main meal i suck on an egg uh, the way i do it is i create a hole at the top just enough for me to draw out the egg white and the egg yolk now is the time for uh, my second meal actually but just i just wanted to show you how i do it with the raw eggs so two holes one at the bottom but not deep enough for the egg to slip out and one at the top enough to let the egg pass through when you're sucking it the white is the best part especially if you're thirsty correction the yolk is the best part and that is it i'm out of egg look very easy great snack to have with you when on the go and now it's time for my second meal which is again more of the same thing i carry them in these tupperware boxes which is not ideal i need to get a glass box for myself but you'll see that i always carry extra meat with me just because i don't know how hungry i might get from time to time day to day i've got a big piece of steak here i've got the sardines down under I've got some more lamb chops and a bit more meat i'm going to eat all this with the raw butter and that's pretty much it that is my last meal of the day
I don't really feel hungry up until the next morning at 4 when I'm up again. But I will sip on the vegetable juices if I'm hungry, if I'm thirsty, sorry. If I'm hungry, say when I wake up at around 1 or 2 a.m. and I'm feeling a bit peckish, like I need something in my stomach, then I will suck on a raw egg and go back to bed. But my next main meal is always the next morning. I really don't have to eat much to maintain this standard level of muscle leanness if i do want to put on size i might have to eat a little more but that's not something i'm going for or really interested in by the way about the eggs the whole point of sucking them and not putting them into a glass is that when you do suck on them the bacteria in the mouth comes in contact with the egg whites and the egg yolk and sort of starts digestion much before it's hit your stomach that way digestion is much easier as opposed to you know swallowing it straight up rocky style from a glass where it really wouldn't digest very well and sit in your stomach and even worse probably cause some of those you know eggy protein fats which we don't really want so it's best to always suck them out of the egg and that's it I'm gonna finish this meal and possibly go out for another walk. Thanks for watching.